So today we have come to the Stirling Ranges. We're going to stay here for the next four days. It's a little mountain range just in the south of Western Australia. We're nearly there. We're having a little mini break. Today it's grey and rainy, but it always is when we get here. I want to show you that one mountain here. Yeah, it's all covered up, covered in clouds. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? There's Mark. Looking nice, Suzanne. Yeah, beautiful sunny trip. This is like I predicted. I said that we're going to be spending our time in there, in this little cabin thing, reading. <laughs> it's going to be like a meditation retreat. We won't be able to go anywhere. Finally, after four hours, five hours, Mark's on the steering wheel. Yeah, behind the steering wheel. I've been doing all the driving yeah. so far. into the retreat. There are actually other people there. Yeah. We're not the only mental cases. <laughs> Even someone with yeah. a tent. We've arrived. The weather is still a bit shitty. Mark's already in his house clothes. He's My in, evening wear. He's in his evening wear. This is our little mini hut here. So we've got like a bed and like a little kitchenette and more beds if you need. And then there's a little veranda <laughs> with them. Um, see? And normally when it doesn't rain you can actually see the mountains over there, but now you can't because it's rainy. But they say tomorrow the weather's going to be a little bit better. And Mark's already um, hiding <laughs> in bed, snuggled up. Well, we're going to have a cuppa now. We might sit outside and watch the rain fall. <laughs> it's still raining outside. We're staying in. We're gonna have a little coffee break here and yeah. we'll just, um, I don't know. What, what are we gonna do with the rest of the day? I don't know if that light's really working for you then. No, it's you not. look like a monster. Ah, uh, whatever. You're the monster. Nothing's well, that working. that would make sense. That'd make sense. Works that, like this. Yeah, that now work. I look good. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, you're gonna have to leave me out, aren't you? Yeah. Well, you're not that important anyway. Whenever you're in the videos, views go down. <laughs> Mark's giving me a lot of shit about driving into the bush with a stranger. <laughs> I nearly got us killed. It is sad. Mm. Tried to stop it, but. But following the stranger yeah. into the bush. Yeah, brilliant idea, so yeah. To help him get his car started. Luckily, the police turned up. They would have quickly discovered our bodies. He says, I have to be careful today. I'm not allowed to make any more decisions. It was a bit dangerous. I did start to wonder. <laughs> like as soon as he just hopped into our car without even asking. And sat down this dirt track. <laughs> really windy and I couldn't even see his car. I said, um, where, whereabouts is your car? Oh, just down there. Just keep going. Keep going. And then like half a kilometre <coughs> down the dirt track, which was littered by rubbish and old car parts. And it looked like some drug smuggler's den. <laughs> We have found his car. It was a piece of shit too. I thought, this is not good. I knew Mark was fuming next to me. He didn't look like a hobo in my defence. He was well dressed like sporting gear and that. Yeah, he probably stole it. And then the police came. On this dirt track, you know, like it's, it's proper in the bush. And they asked him for his like driver's licence everything and they just didn't bother with us. They just let us go. So yeah. something was dodgy about that guy. Not allowed to stop for anyone under any circumstances anymore. No, you can't trust your own judgment. So there you go. We found a little fire. 
a little campfire. It's nice and warm. Mark's there in the back. Oh, nice. It's warm. Back there. And that's the communal kitchen there, by the way, if you camp here. This is cool. This is a nice little end. Did you expect that to happen? No, but I've learned yeah. to expect the impossible. <laughs> anyway, maybe we'll just say good night now and we'll see you tomorrow when we climb the second highest peak in the Stirling Ranges. Good night. Tschüss. Gute Nacht. Oh, how do you say it in Polish? Dobranoc. Ah, oh, yeah, that's Dobranoc. Okay, bye bye. Buenas noches. <laughs>